China's Xi Jinping visits for two days of talks at the president's Mar-a-Lago resort in Palm Beach. Now, candidate Trump was scathing in his criticism of China, promised to label it a currency manipulator on day one, a move that would have sparked a trade war. We can't continue to allow China to rape our country, and that's what they're doing. It's the greatest theft in the history of the world. The greatest abuser in the history of this country. They can't imagine, they can't even believe that they can get away with what's happening. China is responsible for nearly half of our entire trade deficit. They break the rules in every way imaginable. That tough talk, that promise seems almost forgotten, though. The president did take some far more modest action on Trade Friday, asking for a study on the trade deficit and promising more aggressive enforcement of existing duties and tariffs. To ensure that we fully collect all duties imposed on foreign importers that cheat, they're cheaters. From now on, those who break the rules will face the consequences, and there'll be very severe consequences. So far, the Chinese, the fears that they had from the Trump administration have not materialized, right? So the hawks in the Republican Party wanted a more of an emphasis on Taiwanese independence, and they started off with that fight. Right. And as Abby pointed out, there was an immediate climb, climb down from the Trump administration. And if you go back and read the statement that the White House yeah. put out, mm -hmm. it was almost groveling yep. in its announcement of a return to the one China policy and promising that. And then, two, the other thing the Chinese were worried about was this rhetoric that we just played and uh, d declaring them a current Currency manipulator, manipulator on day one. That didn't happen. The move on trade this week was basically a press release that we'll we'll we'll, in, we'll look into this. Right. I think you have to watch what happens in the personal meeting because there was a similar dynamic between Trump and uh, between the United States and Germany, but in, where a lot of the fears of the Germans didn't come true. But then in that meeting with Angela Merkel, Trump did raise the issue of uh, of NATO and payments, right. and he sort he sort of promised that this meeting uh, with China is going to be is going to be tough. But so far the rhetoric has been uh, harsher than the actual policies with China.